few years ago, I thought I knew everything there was to know about gut health. I ate all the veggies, crushed all the fermented foods, and guess what? I was more bloated and miserable than ever. I thought I was feeding my microbiome, but in fact, I was just fueling an overgrowth. Small intestine bacterial overgrowth, SIBO to some, is an issue of location, not type. So you can have perfectly good gut critters, they're just too far up your intestinal tract. When these bacteria feed off of their favorite foods, they release gas, and that can cause uncomfortable bloating, inflammation, and leaky gut. It may sound like a niche condition, but SIBO affects so many people. It's said that 60% of all IBS cases are actually caused by SIBO. If you're like me and have had years of unexplained digestive distress, or you've just been given the wastebasket diagnosis of IBS, SIBO can be a huge aha moment, an answer at the end of years of bouncing back and forth between various doctors and one that actually has a path to treatment. The only problem is that that path is really complicated. This is where my book, SIBO Made Simple, comes in. In it, I answer all the questions about what SIBO is and what it isn't to overlapping conditions like Hashimoto's and celiac, to practical solutions to actually heal your gut for good. More importantly, there are 90 low FODMAP delicious recipes that will help you put your new healing diet into practice in the kitchen. Every dish has a lot of anti-inflammatory ammunition and it also gives you tips on how to reincorporate problematic ingredients as you begin to diversify your diet. The silver lining of SIBO, and trust me, there is one, is that it can truly teach you more about your body and your digestive system than you ever thought possible. My hope is that by reading along, you'll be able to choose your own path up the SIBO summit of Health Mountain. This book is your roadmap. So let's roll up our sleeves and start that climb together.